Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming LTA Mindtree interview. If you have questions like, what are the questions they are asking in these days? Do they ask core questions and how to prepare resources to prepare? So if you have these questions, then this video is for you. I'll discuss all of those questions. Just you have to subscribe to this channel and like this video, comment and share this content with your friend so that they can also take help from this. Okay. Now let me discuss about the latest questions. Hey, you ready for the future attack? No UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So the question is this. Actually, uh, one candidate has shared these questions on 13th of October 2025. So if you are watching this video later on, on 2026 or 2027, it will be relevant for you because the same HR will be taking the interviews. Okay. Now, the questions they have faced. See, at the very beginning, the interviewer will ask you the questions from the common topic that is intro, then your project and then your some cv related hobby related uh, questions okay now the next questions are technical questions i'm just discussing those questions which has been asked by the hr okay now the question is what is the difference between delete truncate and drop see from sql these are the very important questions if you have told them that sql is if you have not told or if you have told it doesn't matter regardless of that they will ask you the questions from sqls okay so and from sql these are the most important topic that is difference between delete truncate drop sql all joins and their differences and important keywords like primary key and uh, some foreign key what is the difference between these keys and uh, let's say uh what's the difference between uh sub queries and normal query okay and uh, please give an example of these this and write a code write a query on these so these type of questions they are asking from sql now what is the real question they have asked that is the difference between delete truncate and drop what's the difference delete removes a specific rows from a table using a where clause when provided and it is a dml operations and can be rolled back truncate it removes all the rows from a table quickly by delocating deallocating the data pages and drop deletes the entire table including its structure this is the main differences okay and now you can give examples you can give syntaxes to them so that they can uh, more specify you like a pro okay i hope you want to now the next question they have asked is from data structure this is new Earlier, they used to ask questions mostly from OOPS concept and your resume, your project and intro and aptitude. Okay. So these are also included aptitude. Okay. But they have asked questions from data structures as well. What is the link list? What is uh, uh, like link list queue? Okay. So you have to understand these. Okay now what is linked list a linked list is a linear data structure while elements called nodes are connected using pointers or references each node typically contains data and reference to the next node and optionally to the previous node for uh, doubly linked list if they are they have asked linked list then give example or syntax then give the types of linked list available and if they ask then start uh, discussing about those types as well with example okay this will be most precise answer now let me go to the next questions but before i proceed to the next questions i want you to have the prime materials where all the things are included for your upcoming all interviews like from c java python dbms sql coding questions operating system networking machine learning cloud computing managerial questions hr questions all the things also um, uh, let's say puzzle questions are included and it will keep updating and it, you will get instant access permanent access and you can see these are the feedback of students provided below so please go through that it will be very much helpful for you the link will be provided in the description box or in the comment section these type of pdfs will be provided to you the questions will be shown above and template answers for all the questions will be available there okay i hope you understood now the question next question is 
this what is a constructor in java constructor if they have asked you about constructor then please mention about the definition and the example then different types of constructors even if they have not asked you okay because you have to show how much you have knowledge okay now the constructor is a special method used to initialize new objects in java it has the same name as a class and does not have a written type when an object is created its constructor runs to set initial state okay so what is the default constructor what's the parameterized constructor non parameterized construct constructor copy constructor and how to initialize them you have to know that okay so default constructor which is uh which is having no parameters right and by default it's present okay parameter is constructor where we use the same parameters we are using in the class okay and copy constructor a constructor that creates a new object by copying data from another object java does not provide a language level copy constructor like c++ so if you are going through java then you don't have to tell about the copy constructor okay now the next question is uh this what is synchronizations in java what is synchronizations so you have to answer like this synchronizations in java is a mechanism to control access to shared resources by multiple threads it prevents thread interference and data inconsistency by ensuring that only the thread can execute a synchronized block or method on a given object at a time synchronizations can be achieved using the synchronized keyword on methods or blocks or a higher level or uh, concurrency constructs from java.util.concurrent okay you can answer this way now if you know about the syntaxes then please explain those now the next question how to check if a number is a prime so this is a code problem this is a coding problem and also you can say algorithms math problem or quants logical problem okay how to check if a number is prime using uh using your pseudo code you have to show them algorithms okay so if you write a algorithms where the code is not optimized then they will ask you to optimize the code as well so if you have uh, if you are running the code from 2 to n then they will ask you to optimize the code then if you write this to 2 to n by 2 then also they will ask you to more optimize the code then if you write this root n then it will be fully optimized okay so this way actually they will keep asking how much knowledge you have they will just check that okay i hope you understood now how to write the root n in programming language guys please comment down actually the students has faced this problem they were able to explain the logic the optimized code syntaxes but they were not able to write the code how to write root n how to write root n in programming language please give the uh, syntax for this in the comment section okay now the next question is exception handling so this is a very important questions regardless of the uh, programming language you preferred exception handling is the mechanism to handle runtime errors so normal flow of the program can be maintained in java exceptions are handled using try catch finally blocks and by declaring thrown exceptions with the throws keyword use custom exceptions when when needed and always clean up resources okay so whenever you are asked about exception handling then explain them about two types of uh, exceptions like uh, handled exception unhandled exceptions and their examples their logics syntaxes okay so this way you can give the more precise answer okay now let me show you the next type of questions they have asked that is from average the average weight of eight persons increases by 2.5 kg when a new person replaces one weighing 65 kg what is the weight of the new person so this type of uh quants questions also they are being asked okay so candidates has to face aptitude questions as well probably okay so please be prepared for that so what's the answer for this sometimes they ask you some questions where you have to solve this in your pen and paper using your pen, pen and paper but sometimes they ask which can be solved by uh, like verbally okay let's say the two trains are coming towards each other having a speed of 50 km per hour and 100 km per hour respectively what's the resultant speed average speed of those trains 
so that is if the trains are coming towards each other then the resultant average speed will be 50 by 100 by 2 right so it will be 75 so this is the speed they are coming towards each other this is the resultant speed okay so this type of questions they will ask like if the trains are coming uh, going from to, from each other going from each other then in that case what will be the speed uh, average speed so please give the answer in the comments section, guys it will be very much helpful for you okay because they are asking this type of questions now in this case the average weight of eight persons increases by 2.5 kg so how much increased 2.5 so 8 5 40 16 so 20 so 20 kg increased when a new person replaces one weighing 65 kg so that means 65 plus 20 so 85 kg so what's the weight of the new person that is 85 okay so that's the answer i hope this is right so guys uh this type of questions they are asking so if you want to get all these type of questions and if you are preparing for all the mncs in the upcoming time also it will be very much helpful please pre refer this top 100 mncs interview preparation materials it will be only cost 99 rupees and you don't have to buy these resources from any other companies any other places because here all the things are included you don't have to worry about it so i hope you will go through that the link is provided in the description box or in the comment section please go through that thank Please subscribe to Techno UF and don't forget to like and share with your friends.